Now, I had German for three years, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Four years later, 1944, I was in Germany. I was a soldier in Germany. My sergeant, the platoon sergeant was Sam York. He was from Alabama. He came up to me and he said, hey, he said, he said uh, uh, that we need an interpreter, and I understand that you speak German. Yeah, I had it for a couple of years. He said, well, what do you think? I said, uh, no KP? No. He said, no guard duty? He said, no. I said, I'm your boy. Now, he had, he had never heard me say anything in German, so the next morning, we went down to the office area there, and uh, we had uh, uh, four black lieutenants, second lieutenants, and the only white man in our whole company was the company commander. He was the first lieutenant. His name was Carradine from, from Memphis, Tennessee. So uh, uh, and there was one German civilian man standing there. So uh, I went over and reported to Lieutenant Carradine, and he said, uh, see what he wants. Well, when he said that, now I'm either going to have to prove it or vacate the area. So uh, I turned around to this uh, German civilian and I said to him, Good morning, my dear. We gave by you in order Good. Good morning, sir. How are you? And he says, Good. Then I said to him, Woman can you dean him? What can I do for you? How can I serve you? And he said, Ich wohne im 25 at the Erde Kleider in the Tofel Hall, and I live in number 25. I want to get some clothes and potatoes. So I turned around and told the lieutenant what he said. Hey, I passed the test. Yeah, I had that thing on. So, of course, no guard duty, no, no KP. That was my speed. <laughs>